Hello Sunday Club. How are you all? Are you enjoying this weather we've been having? Did you know that this week it's been as hot here as it is in Israel and it's really hot there. And Israel is where Jesus used to live when he lived down here on earth with us. But they didn't have air conditioning and fans and freezers that make ice. But what they did have was Jesus and he taught them so many things. And all the things he taught them, we can learn too when we read our Bibles. Now, today's Bible stories, because there's more than one, comes from the book of Matthew. The first one is from verses 10 to 20. And the second one is from verses 21 to 28. The Tradition of the Elders Then Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands before they eat. Things that defile. Then he called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. So in today's Bible story, we learnt that Jesus said, what's important is what comes out of your mouth, not what you put in your mouth. But some people in the story, they disagreed with Jesus, didn't they? Because they felt that it mattered that you followed tradition and that was more important. And of course, it is important that we do wash our hands before we eat. But that isn't what determines whether we're a good person or a bad person. And that was what Jesus was trying to explain. He said, what really matters is what comes out of your mouth. If you put something into your mouth, it goes into your tummy and eventually it comes out in the toilet. But things that come out of your mouth come from your heart. So if they are bad, then that means that the very heart of you might also be bad. So you shouldn't be too caught up with traditions and rituals. You need to focus on being the good person inside. And I think that we can all agree with Jesus on this one, can't we? So what's the most important thing to remember from this Bible story? Well, Jesus said that things that come out of your mouth come from your heart. Jesus went on to another place, a foreign place called Tyre and Sidon. A woman from that place, a foreigner, came out into the street and started shouting, Lord, Lord, I need your help. Lord, son of David, help me. My daughter is very ill. She shouted as loud as she could to get their attention. But Jesus and his disciples didn't answer her at all. His disciples even tried to persuade him. Send her away, Lord. She keeps following us. She keeps on shouting at us. And Jesus seemed to agree with them. But then he answered her. I was sent to only help the people of Israel. But the woman didn't give up. She came right up to them and knelt before Jesus saying, Lord, help me. And then Jesus said to her, It's not fair to take what was meant for my children and throw it to the dogs. But then she replied, Well, yes, Lord, but even the dogs get something. They eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. 
Jesus looked straight at the woman and said, Woman, you have great faith. What you want most will happen. And her daughter was instantly healed. Wow! At first, it seemed as though Jesus wasn't going to help that foreign woman from Tyre and Sidon at all, didn't it? But then, she told Jesus how faithful she was. And he knew he had to help her. So who are the foreigners today? Well, they don't normally come from Tyre and Sidon. Foreigners are people who come from a different country than us. They can be very different, but they are all God's people just like us. And we should try to help them just like Jesus did. So words are really important, aren't they? What you say really matters. Your words show other people the kind of person you are. And have a little think about it. What's the kindest thing you've said to someone recently? What's the kindest thing someone has said to you recently? Think about the words you use and how you can use them to help others. Our activity today is to make a pinwheel to help us with the memory verse from the first Bible story. So for today's activity, you can make a heart and mouth pinwheel. You will need a pair of scissors, a split pin, and to print out the heart and mouth template from the link below on thin card. When you have printed them out on thin card, using some scissors, cut out both circles. And if you are a very little person, you might like to get an adult to do this bit for you, especially the triangular window. And then finally, put the circle with the writing on over the circle with the mouth and the heart Put the split pin through and then turn it over and unfold the split pin like this. And then when you turn it back over, you can rotate the top card between the mouth and the heart to help you remember today's memory verse. Things which come from your mouth come from your heart. Father God, Help us not to be distracted by the things that don't really matter. Help us to grow in our hearts with love and faith and to use our words to share that love and faith with others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Download a children's sheet and a children's colouring sheet from the link and I want you to spend all of this week thinking about the words you're using and remember the words that come out of your mouth Reflect your heart inside. Bye Sunday Club!